Okay, we're back. Welcome to the Orion Focus, our podcast. We wanted to bring this back. It's been a year. We literally did our first exactly. like March. podcast audio recording uh, a year ago, March 26th. I know we kind of gave the overview on the history. You guys can listen to that if you want to. Obviously, video is the thing now, and we want to bring you guys more content, content and knowledge and kind yeah. of our perspective of everything and that's going to improve you live a better, healthier, more sustainable life kind of what we're all about here it's all about lifestyle change it's, it's the mindset it's not like the yeah. diet it's not it's, it's that way with everything the belief in yourself and that's the thing that's most overlooked um okay. when you're trying to you know you think you have to follow this diet and then get these results but like you have to change to form into the person that's following that diet yeah i tell clients all the time whatever you've done up to this point has created a whatever 200 pound version of you and you want to change that so you got to change the things that got you there not necessarily just go on a diet when you go on a diet, and even if you're really successful, and then you get off the diet, you're going to do the things that produce the 200-pound version of yourself. Yeah. you got to change those habits over time. And one you of those... also learn how to maintain, you know, stress. Yeah. Teach yourself new coping skills. There's always hurdles. Because I think a lot of people gain some weight back, and then you're just like, oh, oh I'm embarrassed. Or, I mean, you start with one cheat meal. 100%. Oh, I, I fucked up on Friday night. Might as well... Screw it! I'm not going to be on my diet anymore. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I really hate calling what we do a diet anymore. Yeah. It's it's definitely a change of lifestyle to produce results that you want, and yeah. whether that's be healthier, be on the floor with your children, or you know, go hiking with your kids, or whatever. I've heard a million different motivational things that have nothing to do with actual weight or the mirror or the scale, but mobility, just overall health, it's a big deal. So, Reversal of diabetes type yep. two. Yep. Had that um, when you tell people you can remove hunger from their life or get them off their diabetic medication they think you are trying to sound snake oil we've done it a bunch of times now with a bunch of different clients and um dozens i mean at this point yeah dozens. and i'm over hundreds over 100 clients especially from when you yeah so it in the past i did it for just fun we were going to talk about um the evil ketogenic diet yeah oh my god and all the, the negative connotations to it, all of the, you know, rumors and myths and, you know, the, the vitriol, if you will, about, take, you know, staying to or sticking to some sort of ketogenic diet. Most people have tried it for a short period of time, did it the incorrect way for the most part with the clients I've asked directly. They think they know what they're doing or they, they're doing more of an Atkins diet. And it doesn't work because they don't do it correctly or they don't do it for a long enough period of time. And therefore, the ketogenic diet is bad for you. And then you always yo-yo and end up gaining more weight. And I've heard it all. But if done correctly, the ketogenic diet is sustainable. And it's one of the many tools you can use to maintain a, you know, the body that you want or the health how that you want. That and your specific version of it. Um, yeah. Most people think the ketogenic diet is based on removing carbs from your diet or your life. Um, and while that's part of it, it's, it's not even the most important part. The most important part to the ketogenic diet is increasing fat intake to what people that don't know what they're talking about um, consider an unsafe level. Right, well, if we've been conditioned to learn everything is no fat, fat free, fat whatever. Makes you fat. Right, it's, fat makes you fat, yeah. It's and almost like that... it's intentionally called fat. Wow. Well, Thank you, fat. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks. Yeah. Um, it's but very weird. It, it is weird. All the conspiracies you believe. <laughs> Uh, how deep that rabbit hole you <laughs> Don't make me put my tinfoil. Yeah, they big, I don't want you fat, right? Yeah, they yeah. Well, yeah, because they want to buy more they, drugs. You buy more drugs, you buy more unhealthy food. <laughs> yeah, of course. Why do you think organic produce is like hundreds of dollars even before inflation? Yeah, yeah. healthy food is expensive. Crappy food is cheap. You think that's an accident? Right. Yeah, the sugar and everything. But um, yeah, so increasing fats is important, uh, more important than necessarily removing the carbohydrates. And we've been using a formula that's worked for dozens and dozens of clients, and that's double the fat to protein intake and, and then keeping your carbs below 20. And do I do that every day? No. Does every client I have do that every day? No. Is it a regular thing? You know, eight out of 10 days? Yeah. They change their lifestyle to remove most of the sugary carbs from their diet, and they've learned to eat more healthy fats. And over time, this leads to rapid weight loss, and somehow it, it gets a bad rap for helping people lose weight extremely fast. Uh, when I tell people I've had clients lose 30 pounds in 30 days, I don't know, they think I'm lying. I don't know. Yeah, or you're diet. doing something unhealthy. Yeah, or you're doing yeah. some sort of drug. Nefarious. Yeah. Ah. It's, it's, it's eat fast, reduce carbs, get rid of sugar completely, 
Um, and use some more exercise than you're doing. Be less sedentary because over time everyone gets sedentary in their, you know, adult life. So move more, eat less carbohydrates, and do that for more than just five days. Well, most diets people stick to for 14 days. Uh, you got to push through plateaus, and a lot of times you, you, the scale isn't moving, but the mirror looks better. It works if you do it correctly, but the problem for most people is that they they don't do it correctly by my book. Now, not that I'm end all be all but it have helped dozens of people lose yeah literally tons yeah. you know the math yeah <laughs> literally the last uh, time i calculated and two we're thousand pounds the last time i calculated we it's cool like, to say when you, when you two thousand two hundred like, we should add them all up i did some quick math and yeah it's definitely over that uh but somehow again it gets treated as it's unsafe or unhealthy well, i have had many clients had their blood work tested you know before they ever started with me and then again after they've been doing my program for six months or a year I and mean, almost always we've we've had a few outliers but almost always it comes back much better and it's not necessarily due to the diet but it's due to the body fat being reduced dramatically um we have had we were talking about this one of the things we want to cover is i have seen where while you're losing a bunch of body fat that you've stored over however long uh, while you're burning that stuff up you have to run it through the engine somehow whatever that that fat storage may have been comprised of has to get burnt. And sometimes there is a negative effect on short-term negative effect on cholesterol, but uh, not a long-term one. Once you hit your goal weight or once you're to a healthy weight range, your cholesterol initially balances out. And again, I think that's one of the reasons it does get a bad rap is because people say, oh my God, my LDL and HDL aren't doing what they're supposed to. The doctor said I gotta, you know, start eating more protein, less fat. Well, if you wanna burn fat, you gotta consume fat. That's just how it works. So you're switching fuel yeah. sources. It's just one of those negative things people think about something that's they think is hard. Yeah. You know, if it's a hard thing, well, that you're gonna you're gonna villainize it, right? If it's hard, well, let's just say it's it's not healthy, and then we won't ever have to try that again. Uh, for most people, most of my clients, they get peer pressured into eating carbs. It's the craziest thing. You can sit down, and I've said this a million times. You can sit down and have five cheeseburgers and all the fries and milkshake in front of your family, and nobody will say boo. But the so the moment you say I'm fasting today or nothing here fits my diet. Oh, you're starving yourself and you're being unhealthy. Yeah. It's a very weird uh, problem to deal with. You Nine times out of 10, the person that's saying that is severely overweight. And pull, you can it would pull be considered this. morbidly obese yeah. to today's standard. Well, and Which doesn't take much. No, I mean, that's, that's a, a whole that different topic. In but. itself, just do them, just look around. You look at yeah. the statistics. Most Americans are overweight. A lot of them are not obese. They are gonna, they're gonna pick on you or ostracize you. Yeah. When you're trying to be healthy and lose weight. It's, I don't know, something like thirty-five percent and seventy some percent overweight. Tell me that's not intentional. Yeah. They <laughs> get my cap off. Mm-hmm. You're trying to be oh controversial. Like the Orion conspiracy. Yeah, no, <laughs> renaming the podcast the Orion conspiracy. I'll make a branch. Don't worry. Oh, I, mm-hmm. it, is, it is so much true when you think about the Olympic thing. Oh. Uh, it's you just, said we weren't going to offend people today. We we're going to have a soft open. Well, yeah, people get offended really easy. I don't. I know. I usually don't try. That's to. another thing that I will say about your approach to this whole thing and why I'm still here is because there's no sugarcoating. This is what you need to do. I don't care. You, this is what you're paying me for. This is what you signed up for. So the problem with the sugarcoating things is it slows the whole process right. down. Uh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it easier. Cuffing Explain me this. up emotionally is why I've been able to do all of the things that I've done since I come came into your coaching, which is and why I'm still sitting here. Yeah, because no. you changed like the inner workings of my head. It's a mindset shift. Yeah. I'm not. I don't claim to be anything special. And if I thought I was special, I'd probably be doing all this. Social media should a long time ago. You you know the imposter thing, but I, when I just tell people to do things differently than they've done before to get a different result, and I give them a way to do that or a suggestion at least, it helps. You can be harsh. Yeah, I definitely so don't. The, the I've been accused of that many times. <laughs> Yesterday when we were talking about this. I was glad that you cared enough about me to hurt my feelings. Yeah, that's one because of the because I mean you hurt my feelings so many times, but. Nobody can ever invested. held me this accountable. I need somebody to be like, what the fuck are you doing? Right. What are you eating? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Let me see your what blood you, numbers. Let me see your numbers. Why, Brittany, what the fuck? Where's your numbers? That's what I needed. Yeah. And nobody had ever held me to that level of accountability before. And then I stopped doing it. And what happened? You went back to your old eating habits and you gained the weight back. So now we're Not back. all of it. No, of course not. But now we're back on... Yeah. Hurting people's feelings is your job well, because that's what gets them to get out of the cycle of suck that they're in. Absolutely. That's what I call I mean, it. Again, sugarcoating anything when it comes to my kids, my employees, my clients. I, I don't ever really intentionally or intend to be mean most of the time. 
you know, take telling somebody that it's okay to cheat today or, or you know. Or it's easy. okay that you did that. No, no, it's not okay. You right. know, the first is not okay, but it's okay that we're going to keep moving. Everyone fails. Everyone falls off. Everyone slips up. Everyone has Johnny D's um, when they're not supposed to. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Um, it happens. So the idea that uh, I'm harsh or that I, I don't let it slide or I call people out when their numbers are shit gets the results I've gotten. And yeah. that's usually pretty productive over the first 60 to 90 days from my clients. And then obviously my long-term clients, you've been doing the interviews with them. You know, how many people do you know that have lost a hundred pounds? It's not easy to do and losing it's one thing. And then, but they are keeping it off because yeah. it wasn't a diet. Now it's they a new lifestyle, their you know, whole life around it. They, they want to exercise it and look forward to find something. You know, what's weird. I, I hated this goddamn bike when we started and now I look forward to getting on the bike. I'm like, yeah, because you know, the benefits now. It's hard to see. You know how you benefits. feel after. Uh, yeah, I stole that from Jim Rohn, I think. He said that when you can show somebody the prize, it's easy to get them to do the work. You know, that's not easy to do a lot of times. But I have figured out a way to push people in the correct direction for long enough and be persistent enough to get results. That's well, in the online like coaching world, coming from somebody who has been a part of it, I like, didn't even really know what it existed previously. I mean, I've hired coaches in the past, and I paid hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month for them to send me a, a meal plan document, have me send my pictures and my weight to them once a week, and that's it. That's that's and it. I, I think that's... probably a lot of people think that's something yeah. similar to what we got going on, and I bet my clients, some of my clients, would love that. Checking in once a week is a maintenance. Right. Part. And that you move to that once you, <laughs> right. you know. And I have a handful of clients that need maintenance and they just check in once a week. That's, yeah. that's maintain where we got you to. But right. to get there, in my opinion, it takes a lot more work. Uh, as a coach, it takes a lot more work than just saying, hey, eat this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, and that's another one of my problems. I don't necessarily do this for money. Um, and yeah. sometimes it's frustrating. It's not exactly easy, you know, when yeah, I got clients that, you know, keep slipping up or whatever. Not, not going to mention any names. <laughs> But uh, I find you, it a challenge and I enjoy it. Did you log your food? No. Did you do that yesterday? No. 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 Did Are you still that, fast? That means no. go log in now. Okay. Next Good. day. So you logged your food today? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, so it goes from okay to, you know, what do we got to change here? Okay. You, know, you can't just keep not doing the things and yeah. expect results. That's Because then you make me look bad. That's the other thing, too. Not that I give a shit, really, but, like, if, if you're not going to do what I'm asking you to do, you're going to pay me to tell you what to do and then not do it. Um, yeah. That, oh, I did your program for six months and I didn't lose weight. Well, that, and I think you're, um, I think you're personally invested in it more yeah. than you lead on. Like you do take it personally. When somebody comes to you and you're like, I can't play with my kids. Mm -hmm. I can't do yeah. anything that I wanted to do. You know, they tell you that you're their whole story. I mean, you okay. get on board with them. You're like, okay, like this well, is my goal. You got situations where, you know, a uh, client's making real good progress and, uh, maybe they want to, you know, they think they're ready for maintenance or whatever. And you know, I'm like, just give me like two more weeks. You know, I don't want to see you slip up. You know, I've had people, I, you know, I lost my job. I can't pay you anymore. And I, you know, said, okay, we'll let the, let the invoices slide. I care more about the results than the money a lot of times. And I know that's not a great business practice, but I do get personally invested. Yeah. It matters to me. Cause again, not only do I enjoy this as, as a, yeah. as a hobby, I, I like helping people in general, but. I'm seemingly good at it. And who doesn't like to do things that they're good at? Good at. Right? I, I don't know. I, yeah. It sounds kind of weird to say it like that, especially, you know, on fucking camera. But I enjoy helping people do what I'm good at doing, and that's losing weight or helping yeah. them lose weight. That, um, getting that, getting people into a regiment, too. I mean, yeah. that's huge. Uh, my clients can attest to that. You know, every morning at 4.45 or 5.30, somewhere in that range. Every day. Holidays, Christmas, weekends. Christmas, Thanksgiving. Literally. Whatever. There's a reason you can't get out and do your exercise or plan your meals or do your or shopping. Wait. In, get on the scale. Yeah. Get on the scale. Uh, test your blood. Make sure you get your kit with you. Yeah. All day, every day. And that turns into results. And at the end of the day, when you can see results quickly, the success rate is much higher. Oh, yeah. Because you want to keep going. Right. And even if even if you're not losing the weight on the scale, again, a lot of times you look in the mirror and you're like, holy oh, shit. Yeah. Cut this weight up. People don't realize that even if the scale doesn't change, your body's still... Yeah. Of, well, I was stuck between around. the same three pounds for a week. Mm -hmm. And I could physically tell that like, I, my weight yeah. is coming back that is that's probably the second or third most motivational thing 100 um, percent. pictures are probably second or third the, the, the have... biggest that i've seen across the board is when somebody yeah. says hey you look good today are yeah. you losing weight or, or what are you doing to lose weight or when you start getting comments from the outside source it's like oh somebody else is seeing my work 
Yeah. It's like showing off a painting. Like, oh, th- I have been putting in all this work. I've been exercising every day. Like, you notice? I've that? been counting my calories. I've been logging my food. And now somebody else is, is seeing it. And yeah. I think that's super motivational um, to a lot of clients. And then they're like, okay, I want to do another fast. Or I'm going to do an extra workout today. I'm going to do the lunch instead of sitting with the ladies. Or whatever the case may be. One habit leads to the next, leads to the next. Um, so far, I've produced plenty of, of good results. What would you say to somebody that wants to sign up for your program? If it's a financial commitment issue or whatever, just go talk to my past clients. Shoot us a message. We'll put you in the group with our clients or... Uh, or put you in contact with some uh, some past clients just to get a feel for what it is and who I am as a coach, I guess. The other option, too, is to just take a look at the FAP program. That has a lot of the basic tenets of what I do or what I push or what I encourage people to do. So if you just want to do the 30 to 60 minute consultation to see... You'd be a good fit you, or you'd want to... You'd like or hate me. I don't know. <laughs> um, I have a pretty good close rate if I get somebody on the phone and explain the program to them. So, I want to tell people that. Well, it's true. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I, I used to think that means I'm not charging enough money. Like, if everyone after talking to me wants to sign up for the program, is that a good or bad thing? <laughs> I guess it's good. That's what we're trying to do over here is yeah, good. Well, because, change lives. Well, you're making it. Sell. You're not selling anything. Like you're... If you want to help to change, I'm your guy. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to force you to change. Yourself. No question. You know, it's you got you got to want. It's all there's to it. I like to talk about the I've had it moment. I've heard all the people in getting insulted oh, and being yeah. like, I've had it. Or yeah. uh, I had a client tell me that uh, a kid just, just told them how fat they were. Kids like, have no shame. No, they didn't. It was an innocent kid, but like he told me that you know I'm twice as big as is my sister or whatever. And it was like, bang, a sobering moment. It was have like, a three year old. Yeah, they'll tell you about it. They'll tell you all your <laughs> mommy. You guys switch your belly. That's so, so big. Sometimes it's, you know, uh, having to buy two airline tickets. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. I never, never thought that would yeah. be, right? I, I can't, never I, even. I can't go to a sporting event because I can't fit in the seat. Are you kidding me? Like it's something I never considered to be an aha moment. Or even a struggle. Like yeah. that's not, you know. Something I would never consider. Well, that is life. Absolutely. Clients have to get on some sort of um, glucose modification drug. And they're like, I don't want to take drugs for the rest of my life. I better I better get my shit together now and I need a coach or I want a coach. Uh, Usually when people have had their aha moment is when they come to me because they've tried everything or they've tried this or they've tried that. Uh, Most people know what to do. They just... Oh, yeah. You always say, I'm always the last stop on the train. Always. No, I'm never the first stop. (laughs) They're the first option for losing weight or getting healthier or getting on any sort of regimen. You've tried and you failed and now you want help. And that's where I come, I guess. And so it's it's funny because I look at it as a, as a challenge, like I said, but it, it's always, well, I've already tried that. Okay, we'll try it my way. Yeah. Like, okay, well. Obviously what you did didn't, didn't work. So that's what you call it. I haven't heard the great lettuce debate yet. I'm going to start on the book at first. Chicken. Chicken's even better. Oh, chicken. The chicken. Yeah, the chicken. Well, that, that's a prime. Chicken is a prime thing. They think chicken's great because there's no carbohydrates. Because there's no fat. And if you're trying to teach about it, you use fat for Unless fuel. you want to drink olive oil. If you want to start with chicken, that's fine because it doesn't have carbohydrates. Right. You have to get your fats up too. So that means, you know, fat coffee or, or MCT oil. I mean, yeah, we encourage you to eat bacon, but yeah. avocado, healthy oil. MCT oils, olive oil, macadamia nuts, a lot of other nuts and seed oils. Um, they're all good for you. But again, the ketogenic diet gets thrown into, you know, you like to eat mayonnaise and, and bacon right. and you're unhealthy. But guess what? Not enough. It's pure fat. And when you're trying to consume a lot of fats, guess what? It's an easy source of fat. Um, it's a supplemental fat. If you start with sausage or, or ground beef, you don't have to add as many right. external supplemental fats. New clients always have that struggle of where do I get all my fats from? Well, you know, you start with fattier meats. Uh, in your meals and supplement that with macadamia nuts or some healthy oils. Um, and that's what most of them do. And they get into a groove and they either, you know, eat an avocado or have two or three servings of macadamia nuts with dinner, or they eat, you know, they drink fat coffee, which is like Kerrygold butter and MCT oil or coconut oil, all healthy fats. Um, and that's how they get the majority of their fats in. And they do that for a considerable amount of time. That's when the hunger loss comes, right. that's when the energy increase comes, uh, all of the mystical things that come along with doing the ketogenic diet right, getting through the keto fog, getting yeah. through keto flu, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then you start waking up earlier and you start having more energy and you start being more motivated and then you start looking back yeah. in the mirror and then one thing leads to the next, to the next, to the next. And then it's my job to keep pushing that, you know, increase your cardiovascular exercise or how long can you fast or what's the longest fasting we've ever had. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to not eating six times a day in general. Um, 
when you can fill up on fats and that satiates you for more than two hours, it's a good thing. We should do a, a live podcast where we just take take some suggestions from the audience if you I don't mind helping. Yeah. The reason why I'm making you do is because your perspective is life changing to the people who have been a part of it. And that's, it's but, weird to say and think and hear. I've, I've had many, many people say you've changed my life. I mean, big life changes have right. happened along with just weight loss. I think it it's you're like reviving people's well, self-belief and desire that to do more and understand and believe that they can. Right. Yeah. And, and that was like a why aren't you doing this way? I can't. I said, well, why? Yeah. you know, just you flush that out a little bit and you kind of press them in an order. Yeah. No, I think you can. There's, there's a reason you can't run, you know, a marathon. You know, if you want to run a marathon, you, you don't go running 20 miles. I'm like, okay, we're going to start at this, you know, how fast can you run two miles? Okay. Let's try to get that time down and then increase the length. Like or... Yours is like couch to marathon, not couch to 5k. Yeah, sure. Or couch to losing a hundred pounds. Yeah. yeah. And that, that sounds crazy, but I, I know a handful of people that should lose a hundred yeah. pounds. And if they get snapped the fingers, they will, mm -hmm. but they're, they haven't had their aha moment. They haven't had their, I've had it a little bit where they're like, okay, I have to start today. Well, not only that, like if you know that you have a hundred pounds to lose, you don't think you can do it. Like you really don't believe that. Yep. I mean, I had the aha moment when I got on the scale and I realized I was heavier than I was when I was pregnant, nine months pregnant with my nine pound baby. Right. Uh, but I, I noticed I would need to lose a hundred pounds to be what I was at my very best peak in 2015. And I was like, I can't do that. Possible. Like, I'll try to lose 25, you know? And then, yeah. but when you said, no, I can totally help you do that. I'm like, are you on crack? Like, what are you talking about? The other thing is too, not only is it, is it does it seem impossible, but even if you sit down and you talk to them, you're like, well, it might not be impossible, but it's going to take me five years. It took me 10 right. years to get this heavy. It's going to take me five years to get it off. And well, no, you know, if you want to lose a hundred pounds in a year, you know, how bad do you want it? We can't do that. And realistically speaking, I, I think yeah. it's totally possible. I, we've done 30 pounds in 30 days. I was, you can't do that consecutive yeah. months in a, in a row. I mean, six months to lose a hundred pounds isn't, isn't impossible. Is it unrealistic for most people? Sure. But is it impossible? No. So when you explain to people what's possible, if this is possible, and if we just do half of that. Well, you being like hitched to their wagon to help yeah. them do that. Well, if you're going to be my client, you're not going to fail. I mean, I'm not going to let you, I don't want to say it like that, but no. I'm not going to let you give up. I'll call you. I can hunt you down. Literally. You do. Well, because you're, you're, you're putting your success in my hands, right? Like, right. You're like, hey, I need to sell. Well, sometimes help comes in the form of calling you and saying, hey, why didn't you check in this morning? Yeah. Sometimes that's the help somebody needs. Or I need a day off. Okay, I'll give you a day. Yeah. But come fucking Wednesday, you better be yeah. checking in. So sometimes a break. Right? your shit. Right. And sometimes a break is what's needed to further progress. That's what I'm here for. That's what I've done. That's what we've done. Well, and it works. sounds, yeah, that totally makes sense, mm -hmm. but it's not available. I don't know any coaches or any programs or anything that has that kind of cutthroat perspective with that accountability piece that is the so accountability. strict. I mean, I, I might be able to get some more results by being a little bit easier and nicer. It's just not my style, but the accountability is what is most important. The accountability of every single day, four, five, six, seven, ten. And it becomes a habit. Day, and you expect it. And if you like forget and you're running out, oh shit, I have to go. Literally, I run back in my house now. When you know you're going to be asked for your scale weight tomorrow morning, you're going to make better decisions today. <laughs> yeah. That's just, that's just how it works. It's simple human nature. So, so we're going to sit down this weekly. Yeah, weekly, bi-weekly. We'll definitely put two to three out a month. Uh, we want to interview people, we want to interview clients, we want to interview professionals yep and uh even people with different perspective i love yes. i love it um we may not always agree on how we get the results but i'm listening to people that disagree with me give me some sort of help and insight perspective yeah. change that that helps me help my clients um even if you hate the ketogenic diet i wouldn't mind hearing you from you or you know testing our theory and i don't i'm not afraid of that either so we'll be looking forward to those kind of conversations in the future yep so stay tuned stay tuned and we'll see you next time see you guys